we do that using that at synthesize directive that you see. So in, in our implementation block, we just say at synthesize, name of our property, comma, name of our other property, and we just terminate it with a semicolon, and that just tells the compiler, hey, look at my header file, you've seen how I want these accessors to work, now please generate the code for me. So all those accessors that we previously wrote, that I showed you, we can just delete them. They can go entirely away. You can just one line of declaration. Have custom behavior. We want something special with it. So how do we get the compiler to do this? Well, all we need to do is just implement that method in our source code. The compiler will notice that, automatically pick it up, and make sure that it's used. Just that simple. So in this case, for example, uh, we want to make a mutable copy of our parents' array. So if somebody passes in an NS array star, we want to make sure that it gets converted to an NS mutable array so we can potentially work with it. Uh, so we add an added behavior uh, in our application. Okay.